everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. Today we're going to see a wedding guest makeup look. So this is going to be a simple and a natural looking wedding guest look. It's not going to be a heavy makeup look. It's going to be simple, natural, yet it's going to be stunning. So let's get started. So I have already cleansed my face and for moisturizing, I'm going to use the Nutrida moisturizer. And I'm going to use the Nivea lip balm. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Color Bar Perfect Match Primer. This is a really good primer. Uh, it gives you a matte finish. So for me, it's an oily skin and uh, it is a medium to deep skin tone. So this matte primer is really good. I really like it. It, it, gives, it keeps your makeup for a really long time. Next, let's go ahead and color correct. So for me, I have a lot of dark circles. So I need to use an orange corrector for my under eyes and for some pigmented areas on my face. So for that, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro uh, Orange Corrector. So this is a really good orange corrector. It blends in so beautifully. So this is one of my favorite orange corrector. I'm going to use a wet makeup sponge to go ahead and blend it. Next, let's move on to the foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Foundation. So this is a Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. So there is another LA Girl Foundation as well uh, that will go well for dry skin, but this is a matte foundation. So anybody who has oily skin, this one will really, really go well. This is one of the really good matte foundation which I have used. So today, let's use it. And this is of shade Soft Honey. I'm going to use a blending brush to blend the uh, foundation. So as you can see, this is giving a really good coverage. Uh, so I did not use too much products. It's just minimum, but it's giving full coverage and it's giving a nice matte finish, which I really love. So next, let's do some contouring. So I'm going to use the Sugar Contour Stick and this is of shade Espresso Edge. This is really one of the very, very good contour stick. I'm going to use this contour brush to blend it. So this blends in really, really, really beautifully. And this brush is from Cuffs and Lashes and this brush is really, really, really good. Next for concealing, I'm going to be using the Maybelline uh, Concealer and this is of shade 40 Caramel. I'll use this pack concealer brush to blend the concealer. So I have applied it uh, on my eyelids as well uh, as a base for the eye makeup. And to set the concealer, I'm going to be using this uh, Banana Compact from Faces Canada. And for blush, I'm going to be using a liquid blush and this is from NYB. So this is a really subtle shade so it will not look really heavy on the face. So this blush is really really good, it blends in so beautifully and it's really affordable. Now let's get on to the eye makeup. So for eye makeup, I'm going to be using the uh, Huda Beauty's eyeshadow palette. I know this is not of the affordable range, but this is really one of the good eyeshadow palettes. It's 
really pigmented you don't have to you know strain a lot to go ahead and uh, you know apply these eyeshadow it is so pigmented and it gives you a beautiful finish so i'm going to make this eye makeup simple uh, not like a heavy eye makeup so these are the shades in this uh, palette i'm going to be using the brown shade first so you can see how beautifully it is pigmented it's like you know it's so effortless so i'm using the same shade all over my eyelids now i'm going to use this shade i use my fingers For Kajal, I'm going to be using the uh, sugar coal. I use this uh, brown shade again in the lower lash line. I usually skip eyeliner because I have hooded eyes and the eyeliner really doesn't suit me that well. So only very occasionally I use eyeliner. Today I'm going to skip it. So I'm going to go for mascara next. So I'll, I'll be using the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Swiss Beauty Blush from Highlighter. So this is a baked blush and highlighter palette. First, I'll apply a little bit uh, below my eyebrows and in the inner corner of my eyes. So for that, I'll be using this shade. So I'm just swiping across the palette so you get a blushed highlighted look. Next, let's move on to the lipstick. So first I'm going to line my lips. So for this, I'm going to be using the Faces Canada Lip Liner. For lipstick, I'm going to be using this Nykaa lipstick. So this is the Nykaa uh, uh, Masaba by Nykaa, but I don't think now it is still available, but this is a really lovely pink shade. And to set everything, I'm going to be using this Swiss Beauty Makeup Fixer. So this is a completed wedding guest makeup look. And this is, as I mentioned, this is a simple and natural looking makeup look. There is no heavy makeup here. So the products which I've used are all really great. It gives you a matte finish. So as I said, I'm an oily skin person and these products give me a really good matte finish and it helps me to keep my makeup for a longer time. So this is the completed look. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please click on like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.